This is how you can dominate off spawn every single game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to outdrop everyone, how to use POI knowledge to defeat your opponents, and the importance of efficiently looting your drop. Guys, my name is Tiltruth, and I am a top 100 Unreal ranked player, and I will be your coach today. Point number one drop map. Outdropping your opponents is the single biggest factor to winning an off spawn fight. You're simply able to just get better loot before they even land there. Your opponents also may see you have a better drop and just swerve off entirely giving you the entire drop spot of loot for free. Now you can get a drop map from a variety of different places and honestly a variety of quality. Right now my go-to is dropmap.net. I've just found that they have the best ones that I can easily get. Now for my current drop spot at this vault area I want to aim for the floor loot. I could land higher up on this POI, but generally I've found that landing here on the floor spawns gives me more options to fight off spawn. Especially with loot spawns not being 100%, I could aim for the top of the building and not have a chest or a floor spawn and just get outgunned by someone that's running around on the ground that has five, six, seven options. And I really just don't want to take any chances here. Now to properly use a drop map, you want to mark on the map and that would be your lowest point that you're going to dive for leading into your drop. Then when you are in the lobby, you want to mark where you're going to drop and you want to jump off the bus and kind of push your character forward so you have continued momentum to get to the mark that you dropped. Then as I approach the mark, I want to dive fully down until my glider redeploys to land perfectly at my drop spot. Now this might sound a little bit confusing, but with a little bit of practice, this can go a long way. And it's something that I've been doing for a few different seasons now. And I think something that you should absolutely incorporate into your off spawn routine. Point number two, loot route. Thinking ahead of your loot route is so incredibly important for a variety of reasons. If you take a look ahead of time at a website like fn.gg, there you can work out a loot route to most efficiently get what you need. If you're playing duos, discuss with your duo partner, hey, who's going to loot what so you're not wasting any time as you're opening chests and trying to hit certain rotations. Predetermine who's going to hold what in your inventory. The small details matter in the long run. For me, at my drop spot, I have a few different things I want to accomplish. I want to hit all 50 of the free shield first. Then I want to run over and break down these towers so the loot falls to the ground. As it's falling, I'm then going to go loot inside and eliminate the NPC for the vault card key so I can get into the vault. Once I have the key, I go back outside to get the loot and open the vault. From there, I'm free to hit my rotation. Before I get into the next point, I want to thank Saint FN for the kind words on our most recent video. You guys taking the comments, stuff like this really does make my day, so thank you so much for that. If you want to be featured in my next video, please leave a comment. Point number three, know your rotations. Now that I have fully looted, I want to hit my rotation based off my goals. From this location, I have a few different options. One, I could just stay if I pull zone. I could continue to loot the outer edges if I just need more loot in general. I could go to the guaranteed sniper spawn location. But one really advanced strategy is I want to go make a play for the nearby forecast tower. Now you may see this tower and think there's no way that you can get there, but since we planned ahead and have a game plan, you actually can time it perfectly to land on the forecast tower right as it spawns to get it, using the launch pad and the flowberry effect. Point number four, play aggressive early. In general, you want your opponent to react to the plays that you're making off spawn. Now this one's fairly simple. Now since we have a drop map, we can out drop our opponents and get the best loot possible, so play aggressive off spawn. You wanna generally start the fight first. It's better to be the aggressor instead of reacting to your opponent. Now this does not mean just jumping in 2v1, but playing to your strengths and based off of the loot you have. Communication with your teammate is so utterly important here. Say what you're doing and thinking as you do it. This will only result in a better outcome. Don't just full focus and mute up and not say anything. You wanna communicate with your teammate. Hey, I'm jumping in. Hey, I'm running. Hey, I'm reloading hitting shield, whatever it may be, is going to help you win these off spawn fights, but play aggressive. All right, my last point. Point number five, stack your advantages. So now that we have outdropped our opponent, we've won our off spawn fight, we have efficiently looted, and we've gotten the forecast tower, now we can keep stacking these advantages throughout the rest of the game. From here, we can play for something like dead side zone, we could go for our cash, or even the island spawn. But these are probably things to discuss in another video. Now guys, I really hope this video helped you improve in your off spawn fighting. Please take a moment to like and subscribe if you're not already, and most of all, good luck out there.